Hello, well it's that time again isn't it? It's the time, it's the time for Squad Closed Alpha version 3. Yes, it's just been put on the forums and I'm a little fallout with some of the devs but we'll leave it there. We'll leave it there. Anyway, let's jump in and have a look. So the major update dropping, uh, version 3 will soon be released on Steam. Blah 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 blah. We want to get to the good stuff don't we really? Uh, major features, here we go. The Russians and the militia are coming. Prepare the war calls as you Russian ground forces join the hunt. It's been a Kickstarter goal. Uh, what have we got here? Russian face off against the militia. So we've got the militia and the Russians and the irregular militia on our second in house character model set. And it looks like we're also getting the AK 74M and the APK 74 as well. And there we go. There's a little look of it there. Very nice indeed. One of my favourite weapons actually currently in the game. It's a beast, especially when you're in prone and you go down those alleyways and just, ah, it's a, yeah, I love it. And there you go. So a few more little variations in there, all very nicely modelled. Lo do love the modelling in uh, Squad. It is very, very good. Right, we also get Fool's Road. Now, this was a classic that everybody played in Project Reality. And if you're not sure why, you can either go on to Google, have a quick look at Fool's Road, or you can wait till it comes out, obviously. And it's an Eastern European map. There are forests and roads and all sorts in it. Um, yeah, definitely nice to see some lush forests where it's not all just forests. So we've got buildings and it is, it is a great map. Quite looking forward to that one, actually. As you can see, very nice. Unfortunately, it looks like we're not getting vehicles. The devs have said there's a couple of problems with it, so they've been taken out. I'm sure they wanted to get them in as much as we wanted to use them. But, you know, it's better that they don't because the amount of people that are creating videos and content now... It wouldn't make the game look the best, so I totally agree with taking them out. But, um, whether we get emplacements, the 50 cals that we were going to get, well, we'll find out as we get further down. So we've also got another map, an urban map called Samari Bala. It's a literal maze of slums, markets and alleyways. Sounds like Bradford to me. This map is still in development and we'll continue to be adding and expand to it. So they're going to make keep updating it. Very nice. It's got... Um, it's got a feel of the, the current maps that we've got in. A uh, nice police station and barbed wire marketplace. It's very, very nice. Very nice indeed. And we also get the Jensen's range. Now, I've had a sneaky look at this. It was actually in the previous version. and uh, I was just scrolling through and found it. So I've had a little sniff around in here. It is very nice. You've got the uh, target practice. There's the range. You can practice uh, down here on the uh, target practice. And they knock down and all that sort of stuff. Steam's now supported, so we don't need to keep logging in and re-downloading our version. The devs can literally put it straight up onto Steam, meaning we get the automatic update, which is really, really good. Uh, Tooltips and player usability, it looks like they've been, they've been looking at the UI, um, and that'll be coming out on the 15th. They did say that uh, the backers, the founders, that's us, would get it early, whether that's still a, a goer is, uh, is anybody's guess. Uh, we've got roll limits, uh, which I already thought we had, so you can't all be like RP, um, RPG gunners and all that sort of stuff. There's updated tracer effects. Oh, let's just look at that. Let's get this on the max, on the tits, and get the volume on. I want to turn that down before I need this call the police. After all, I do live above a bank. Yeah, Trace is very nice. Um, actually, I really, really loved... What's up there? Um, I really did love the effect when you actually injured. Yeah, uh, the Trace is the effect of bright. Uh, 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 yeah, so very nice Trace indeed. So, see him on the night time as well. Nicey, nicey, nicey. Good enough for that. Uh, we've also got some new rocket explosions, so let's get in and have a look. Get this up to the up to the Jordans. All right. The effects are always good. I love Morning, the fact gentlemen. that this game. Uh, I just wanted to show um, you. Uh, just turn that off for a minute. I love the fact in this game that you don't get the smoke in other games when it's coming to its end cycle, like the opacity. It just doesn't go and disappear completely. It actually fades out really nicely in this game. And it's one of the things I think the devs have done. Oh, I just bloody missed it. One of the things the devs have done really well. Oh, yes. Lovely, jubbly. 
Oh, it did fade a little bit uh, quicker than that. Let's uh, try on slow motion. Seen. But uh, yeah, very, very nice. And you can have a look at that video on the official forums. So we've updated it to Unreal Engine 4.10 then, which includes many performance improvements, including a possible fix to the performance issue with the enemy, because uh, I'm an NVIDIA boy. In addition to the above, we've also got two times recoil modifier for all weapons. We're not aimed down the site. Added an aim point to the M4, M203. Yeah, good. That's nice. Yeah. AK-47 Militia, AK-74 Russia. In fact, I'll let you read some of this. Uh, traditional M4 with three round bursts. Added M249 with iron sights for the Militia. So that will be the RPK then for their version, I presume. Oh no, we'll actually get an M249, won't we? Because I'm thinking we've got new ones now. Added correct colour smoke to all grenade launchers. And the actual rounds have got colours now on the shells. Set default fire mode for the AK-7. Increase the front sight post on nearly all AKs. Differentiate the way the RPG frag round and the M279 rocket applies damage. Uh, what else have we got? Anything that really sticks out? Um, squad leader tracers. Removed all sandbags and concrete base fortifications from the insurgents. Hmm, interesting. Fix the Hesco walls being easily breached. Limited kits. Some factions have alternative version of kits. A limited the squad. Is, uh, what's this? A squad is limited to how many special kits they can have from each command and support fire support specialist. Interesting. If you leave a work kit from a squad, you will immediately be given a recruit kit. Yeah, that makes sense. A lot of people were jumping in a squad, getting the RPG or whatever, and then leaving. Uh, shorten the info, dry reload. Misc. Right. Squad leaders can now kick. All right, yep, yeah. servers now pass can be password protected. Add a new separate reload animation for the AKM and the AK-47. Fix a number of issues with bandaging and medics would, medic bags would fail to detect a dead player. Yeah, that's one. It was quite difficult to revive players at certain points. Um, I've been kicked from a squad optimization. Pass on particle effects, optimization of weapon textures. Modified the default anti-aliasing setting. Ah, that's a, quite a nice one. Expose mini. Yep. Static randomizers. Now, we were told that certain maps were going to be randomized, so buildings and things were in different places, so that's going to be quite interesting. A uh, number of... Now, it's Kohat Valley I have the problems with. Uh, prone players can no longer fall off edges. That's another great one. It's these little things that actually make it, to be honest with you. I did fall in metal targets with audio hits. Some targets take one hit to knock down. What is that? Metal targets. Interesting. A green variation of the Hesco for temporary use for the Russian. Very cool. Increase the ammo crate. Added more map zoom levels. Russia has a unique skin. Added new explosion effects. The RPG frag round and the M729 have a different. Very nice. Three different skin variations for the insurgents, for variants, Russian models and militia now associate with the role you spawn in as. Yep, yep, yep. A scope jitter is present when standing away from the centre of the map. So it's all good, good, good. It is every time we get an update. It doesn't look like the 50 cal emplacements are in there or any of the vehicles, as I mentioned, which is a real shame. Really was looking forward to at least just one transport vehicle or something like that. But... It is what it is. They're not the biggest of teams, and the work that they do is superb. So, if you want to get in squad, and you've seen some of the videos I've done on the channel, you can get in on December the 15th on Steam. Trust me, you are going to fucking love this game, and the word fucking is bold and underwritten. Yes, it's the tits, it's whatever you're into. This game is brilliant. It, there hasn't been a game that promotes team play more. It's visceral, it's exciting. And hats off to the devs. As much as they hate me for a lot of my comments and outspokenness about a lot of things, I really have got to give hats off to them. But don't ever, ever say I promote glitching again, because it's fucking bullshit. I've been a champion of this game, and every glitcher I've ever met just wants stabbing and drowning and burning. So let it be said, so saith the para. I shall see you in the next video. Enjoy it, because I... Fucking will. Bye-bye. I've said enough.